Hello all. Hey, it's Deluxe Cough. It's Propaganda. It's everybody in the house. We're talking Wild West, baby. Woo! This is all about um, no bands. Uh, nothing's banned. That's the theme of today's show. Why, you may ask. Well, if you saw the promo at the very beginning, uh, courtesy of Arctic Ghost, uh, hosting the tournament, did a little promo for him, been running it for weeks. Uh, tomorrow's the big day. We're going to be doing a no band. Band, uh, nothing's banned. Popper tournament, uh, pure popper, whatever you want to call it. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna be going over this list. I put up the uh, top band cards. This doesn't mean it's all of them, but you know, we, tomorrow you're gonna be able to play. And today, before I even get started, stop what you're doing. If if you're in the chat right now, we're gonna be. It's gonna be a very quick show because so far only Nim Chimsky and Little Fight have confirmed that they're gonna play me. So stop what you're doing. Uh, import your favorite popper deck. Grab all the broken crap band stuff you can get or find an old list import it save it as a freeform deck name it you know jack assery or whatever you want to call it and uh step up and we can uh, have more than two or three rounds today i don't want it to be too short of a show so um yeah you can just do that in the background i'm sure uh, but the games probably will go pretty quickly depending i mean given the format anyway hello everybody mike man i'm so glad you're back in action regularly here sure razaman nimchimsky a uh, little fight to lovecraft yeah everybody's hanging out in in the house all right so we got get taxi pro this hasn't left us too long ago high tide pretty damn powerful Cloud of Fairies, you'll notice a uh, slight discrepancy in color here. Uh, in fact, let, let's put this versus the rest of all of them. Can we do that? Oh, no, I've got it set to another thing. Anyway, you can see it's more than half. Uh, Cloud of Fairies, obviously. Uh, Days, Frantic Search might be... Uh, I'll, I'll go through these a little bit slower because a lot of people are new to these cards if you're not an old-timer like me. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, tra uh, Frantic Search used to be the man with uh, Karoo lands and stuff. Draw two cards, discard two cards, then untap three lands oh and they made it an instant yeah his face says it all right oh my god who could make a card like this gosh yes uh oh before i even forget uh paulo cabral uh from brazil huge shout out to you we're going to be playing his tribe list maybe next week uh depends how up to speed i can get he's such a sweetheart of a guy if you haven't checked it out on um uh, pop it like it's hot podcast they interviewed him about his new tribe list which made me that's what made me think about it because i saw gush uh, he uses Whiteout. If you could bring that up, Shiraz, I'd appreciate it. And uh, I've been using it too. It almost feels stronger than Gush. It's like you can just play out your lands and keep moving and stuff. But um, anyway, he is such a sweetheart. He sent me like a screen grab of every sideboard scenario so that uh, I don't have to really fret about that. I'm sure I'll still pilot it like garbage because uh, trying to play something as intensive as Tribe and host a show and play press all the buttons can be a little daunting. But hopefully next week or the week after that, probably. Anyway, um, Woo. All right, so that's what made me think about that. Remember this bad boy, Peregrine Drake, untap up to five lands, and then he starts snapping it and doing all that nasty stuff. This used to just make the uh, format so unfun. What is it? Uh, oh, I, I get it. It's not my collection. Uh, temporal Fissure. Oh, my goodness. Just go crazy, go crazy, bounce everything back, and about the only thing you got to worry about is Lightning Bolt. We got Treasure Cruise, Sinkhole. Uh, I only own one of these because it's a, a promo card from what I know, but um, pretty nice. If I uh, Actually, I'll be honest with you, because of the MCQ and this new deck that I've been uh, tinkering with, there's two of them actually, um, I've really been kind of high on that. So I've only got two decks today to, to uh, showcase. So um, yeah, everything's legal, legal except Little Fight. That's right. Um, so I, but you know, this could fit naturally into the uh, mono black uh, land destruction list, but I don't know if it'll do that good just because uh, that deck seems to, have, uh, what do you call, uh, hiccup on its own. So uh, obviously, him to Turok. I've been saying this for years now. I don't think this would break Popper. Uh, only mono black, pretty much. Well, I guess with Astrolabes, you might be able to play it, but might be what the format needs. I don't know. Throw some randomness in there and stuff. You got to have it. All right, Empty the Warrens, one of my favorites. I uh, wish it had a little bit better artwork. That's not too bad, though. And Grape Shot comes in with, uh, this is why, if you remember the card Benevolent Unicorn, if you ever see that in old lists, this is why. Because it kind of neuters, not kind of, it does neuter this. So, Nimchimsky says, I brewed up something not very special yesterday. Hardly played it. Yeah, I've only played against you, Nimchimsky. So, uh, yeah, anyway. So, somebody out there, uh, other than Little Fight and Nimchimsky, call it because uh we're about to go down with uh, round one i don't know if it wants to be you nimchimsky or little fight we'll see uh invigorate obviously and infect staple um never stopped me from playing infect granted 
it's one card, guys, and it does a lot, but Seal of Strength almost does the same thing. Minus one, and you can kind of play it instantly without being countered. So I haven't felt the power surge of this. Obviously, if you got a, a, a quick, you know, you can have that turn two kill, much like Tribe. But you could also argue you could do that with a, a variety of uh, mutagenic growths in company. Anyway, the one thing I think is going to be the hardest to brew around, but I think it has the most upside, is probably cranial plating. Uh, if this was a ongoing thing and you saw decks evolve and start abusing cards, I think this <laughs> this might get banned from the non-banned tournaments. So <laughs> yeah. All right, coffee time and cloud post. I don't think this is going to make a showing. Unless somebody's just got a super cruel spirit and wants to make a Tron deck with these like they used to in the old days with Temporal Fissure and Peregrine Drake going crazy. And never mind, I don't want to give people ideas. It sounds like they're going to uh, be doing that. So anyway, so if you're online, do what I said. Make a popper deck. Make it illegal as hell. Save it as a free form and meet us over in the Constructed Specialty Preform Tournament Practice Room. So yeah, we're going to uh, go like that. So if anybody wants to, uh, Little Fight, if you want to, or Nim Chimsky, I don't know who wants to go first. Um, we'll uh, see what, what we can see there. All righty, there we go. All right, so I'm going to change decks here. No peeking Little Fight. Let's, uh, I guess we'll go with the, uh, I want to show you one of my old favorites. Where is it? I call them WW. There we go. Part neck, we'll do that. Oops. Hold on a minute here. Cancel that. Change decks. I will say submit. All right. Let's join this one. Woohoo! Uh-oh. Sorry about that, y'all. Come on, screen. Be nice to me. I see it. I see it. Uh, do I see it? Yeah. There we are. No. Hold on a minute here. What? This doesn't want me to play this, does it? All right. Let's rock like this. Yeah, it's a relaxing community show today. Bring your favorite deck. I'm going to say yes to this. This is one of my old favorites. I'm pretty sure Little Fight's going to remember this the second it comes down. Uh, we've got all kinds of uh, torturous goodies here. We will keep this. This is just uh, something I used to call Deluxe Red. I used to run it in almost every tournament. This was, this was my uh, kind of mainstay deck for a good year. I was always brewing this thing. So anyway, uh... All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's rock like this. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit on that. I'm just gonna pass the turn here. We've got Spark Spray mostly for the cycling, but also to build up Storm Count. This deck uses Lava Dart because uh, back in the day, Echoing Truth and Decay were like the main ways to get rid of Empty the Warren's tokens, and uh, it kind of leads to synergy. Ooh, I think we're gonna be seeing something spicy of the cranial plating. plating uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, persuasion. All right. We do have a uh, Goblin Bushwhacker in this list, so this deck can win on turn two pretty often, but maybe it won't. I felt like a jackass the other day. I never sell cards, so I went to rebuild this. I looked at Rite of Flame, and I'm like, you don't have any copies. And I'm like, what? So I went and bought one, and then I realized I had my filter set to only look at, like, white and green cards. <laughs> Yes, the goblins are always a whacking. All right. Well, let me just bring this out. We'll go crazy next turn. This is kind of one of the tamer turns, but at least forces them to have an answer. We'll go crazy with Empty the Warrens next turn. We've got two Fire Blasts in this list. Cranial Plating shows up. It might be over. Maybe it's not fast enough. Who knows? Oh, there's that. Let's look at what we got here. We'll say that. Boom. Pretty standard stuff. Yeah, all right. That kind of blows. Uh, let me play this. Let's see right the flame. I'll probably lean towards this on playing tomorrow. Got an infect build too, but I think everybody's going to see that coming. This one's kind of built towards, uh, with four of these main, it's pretty good against Faye and company. So, like I said, if the format was kind of well-established, there'd be a lot, lot more stuff to uh, 
brew too, but for right now, we're just going to, uh, we'll keep this simple as we've got this next turn. I would have really liked to have had this flashed it back. Cause then we would have got like four more tokens out of it and haste, but as it is, what are you going to do? We got six here. That's not too bad, right? Not bad at all. Plus we, you know, half the life total is gone with the uh, kiln fiend here. So not too worried. As you can see though, if we would have ended turn instead of, if uh, this hadn't happened, if we would have lava darted, we could do it. In response, build up storm or have it lying in wait if they do have an echoing trick on our tokens, and then you can zap them. This list will be available in the chat. Maybe I should wait a day to upload it so nobody can have my list. <laughs> it's not that special. I used to go back and forth with Mezzle on this one a lot, and he's just been hats off to him lately. He has been crushing it. Like a top eight finish like every single week, but we used to go back and forth. He'd win two, I'd win two, he'd win three, I'd win three. I'm sure he probably got the edge on me overall, but this list was, uh, was played pretty even with his, just because mostly because of lava darts. That was way back, I think 2008, maybe seven. Who knows? Yeah, wait a day. <laughs> uh, it's not like there's. It's more of the community aspect. It'd be pretty flattering if somebody wanted to play this. Okay, here goes the pain. Down comes the numbers. All right. This goes here. We're going to be able to kick this, double kick it, and, and whack. I think this is never going to get a time to get online. I think you almost need to play Lotus Petal right now for that to uh, be a thing. We've got enough for this, so we might as well cycle because we uh, do have Fire Blasts in this deck, and that would just be kind of insulting. We'll sit on that. We'll make sure to uh, kick this. Prismatic Paladin! Looks like your commander card. <laughs> yeah, I've... I had actually about every five months I've got to rebuild my software. It just just like a lot of different softwares, it can get a little uh, ghost in the machine. And you just have to start over and not panic. So you can see the kiln fiend gets ginormous here. This is uh, what is this turn four? Pretty slow for this deck actually, but we'll go crashing over here. I think he's remembering the the love of this. So we don't see any blue up or black, so that's why we can kind of go all in. If I was playing against a black or blue mage, and I knew Echoing was in their yard, I mean in their deck, I w on, in turn would keep Lava Dart in my yard. So uh, you can tell I pretty much lifted this list from an old um, tournament win that I had, and uh, I like to lean on, you know, Martyr of Ash. You can look at the uh, sideboard here. You're like, oh, believe it or not, about the only way to really consistently keep beating this is Echoing Tricks. So I've got four of these. I've got a Seal of Fire. And then on top of that, we got Rerun Lava Dart's main. You can even Fire Blast your own token if you're in a pinch. Um, but yeah, this is this is the list here. Um, Spark Spray is probably the weakest card, but it's all about cycling and going and finding your pieces. So we've got this, this, and this here. Um, it can get there pretty quick. feels like you're running 20. We've got three Cyclers in the, uh, the full set here. Um, anyway... So we're going up against Affinity. Sorry to do this to my good buddy, but I'm going to bring these in. Probably take out Lava Darts. Even though they help with Storm, uh, I want to show you the cruel capacity of this list. Yeah. I mean, you could bring in the um, Martyr of Ash. A little overkill. You see, even way back then I was doing that. It's like, oh, I'm playing a ground crew game. It's like, well, I don't have to trip it. It's, uh, it's just how it goes. Yeah, I've been having a lot of breakthroughs. Actually, I will say this. I will give a little clue for the challenge this weekend. I think if you have access to white, COP white's a pretty good call. Most of the uh, Jess guy lists and stuff, that's pretty much all they're running as far as creatures go. All right. This looks pretty good. Cl <laughs> Crack clan shaman. Yeah, I've always say that wrong, don't I? Keep. And go from here. Propaganda have been getting any more recognition from WOTC. Not too much. Might get a little shout out. Uh, Odin Makes is, is going to be doing a uh, project here any day now. And I, he's going to give us a little bit of a shout out. But no, nowhere near like where we infiltrated the Bone Splitter episode show. Um, no, it's pretty quiet there. Like I said, I'm, we're never on uh, uh, Twitter or Red Edit or anything. So it's, um, you know, if you see it, it's not us. Uh, been uh what would you call uh <laughs> um what's the word just complimented i guess the old uh imitation flattery saying i think 
There's two or three fake Twitches now, but we're never on there. But that seems to be the only way to get rid of uh, wizards or employees. And uh, yeah, just it's only so much time of the day. I don't like to sit there and be what I call a phone face and sit around doing all that. Um, ooh, this is going to be pretty. I th oh boy. We'll just sit back. We'll just, we're just going to sit back. No ban. Sawatobu. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Yes. There is a no ban coming up tomorrow at this time. Uh, the promo's at the top of the show. So check it out and uh, scroll up. And uh, you'll see just make a make a popper deck there. Uh, Sawatobu. And um, save it as a freeform deck. Any cards you want. Nothing's banned. And uh, come challenge. We can do it live on the show right now. You got quite a few minutes, probably before we run out. Might be a quick show today. I don't know. Depends how many people are here. I don't want to just play a little fight three or four times. I mean, I might play them two or three, but three or four might get a little bit much. But then Chimsky, uh, please be ready for the next matchup. Here's one of the aforementioned banned cards, and I'm holding one myself. Is that just the one? Are these banned? I can't remember. I don't think so. I think Rite of Flame is banned, right? I am ready. <laughs> yes. Did you check any postings on the net for the journey? I did not. Um, like I said, unless it's Facebook or uh, in magic chat and somebody says, hey, look at this. I'm kind of blind by stuff. So right is legal. Interesting. Hmm. Why am I not brewing with that anymore then? Oh, before I forget, everything looking and sounding good, guys. Just want to make sure. Oh, man. You know what? See, this, this is I used to just go crazy with ritual here. Um, I just want to buy more turns. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm just going to eat this. Hopefully, All I'm trying to do, I just want to buy one more turn so we have just a, like if I draw into like a, a goblin bushwhacker, I can I can swing in one go. But this is going to kind of force him to show me his removal. You can't keep a shaman alive. Me personally, I probably have 10, but I'm only going to show two today um, for that set up there sorry buddy i just had the nuts in those those games uh tends to be the route of it i'll um yeah oh so yeah let me uh i'll go over the list here Nimchimsky, are you ready are you already oh you're already there all right so let me uh switch decks here change decks let's see what we can do um i'll try this is the one you beat me with Nimchimsky yesterday i'll try this and we'll say play it Woo. It's funny how that always wants to mess up on the other side. But Jordan, oh man, plating and popper. That's right. Just today and tomorrow only. Uh, thanks to uh, Pure MTGO and especially Arctic Ghost for hosting it. I think it's going to be a one or maybe biannually uh, tournament where just nothing's going to be banned. So I wouldn't throw the list away when you're done. And you can get cards on the cheap because they're banned. Oh well, we got the card we want, but boy, we're pretty flooded. Gotta wait till turn three to do anything. I'm not liking this. I'll throw it. Much better. Got this, got this, got this, and this. We'll keep this. Woo! Yes, high tide is legal. Pretty much, Saratobu, everything's legal. You just make it. Nobody's gonna, uh, there's no rules snapping or exceptions. You can play Hymna Turok. You can play high tide. It's good times. We'll keep this. Oh, wow. Let's see. Boy, I like all of this. I want to keep all of it. Damn it. We're most likely to draw that. I want to be able to have backup with that. Um, obviously, we have to keep our creature. Got to keep this. Uh, I want to be able to protect it since we've only got one. So I'm actually going to throw this back. Done. All right. I believe it's totally legal. You could probably go to the... Um, I think it's just there's just no rules. I don't think there was any fine print. It was just meanness. So easily one of uh, back in the day and still true now. Um, one of the main banes of these decks was uh, Delver. It's because of the bounce and such. Hopefully we don't run into a daze here. I'm going to jump in while my opening's here. They do have snaps in this list. So Bastwood's only going to be good next turn. That might be the only turn we need. Yeah, it's it's really nice. It's just full on, man. It's like, hey, was this printed ever at Common? We're good. It's one of those. So I went with kind of an older list. 
I actually, if I do play Infect tomorrow, I'll probably do similar to my other brew where I leaned less on Rancor and more on the two mana instance. Um, just the tempo of how they play out in the metagame right now. I'm just not sure if to expect the old metagame or the new one. But Oh, and I got a new pop filter for the mic. Looks pretty phallic, but does the job well. All right. And this is where we usually lose. All right. I want to keep that open. Boy, if this if this gave trample, that would just be so much so nuts. It's funny too. Invigorate wasn't even like a card for I would think a year or two of Popper going on. It just wasn't. It blew my mind. And then in fact, it became a thing, and everybody, uh, it took some time, believe it or not. You'd think it would just scream at somebody, like, hey, look at this. But it was a few uh, weeks or months until once Infect got entered into the picture that it people were like, hey, check this out. And who cares if you gain life? And then came Nature's Claim and all that stuff. So We are playing in the special room under uh, Freeform. Um, yeah. What do we do with the file deck? Uh, I would. So here's the deal. You take your popper deck, you build it. Then you export to like your desktop, and then you go into your free form um, inside of Magic the Gathering. There's you know standard popper. You can go to free form. You import it. Make sure it saves it as that, and then that's what you play with. Otherwise, it won't work. Um, no sense in losing life here. I don't want to regenerate it because I want to be able to answer a uh, snap. I know he's got a foil in hand. Faye comes down. This is getting lame already. Dang it. Oop. I guess we'll have to kill it that way. Maybe I should have regenerated it. This is when you feel like a fool if they don't have snap. You're like, what would you do that for? But I still got some lethal, but the problem is he might still have snap. Yeah, it's similar to uh, land destruction there. So what taboo? I still like it because it breaks so many rules. There's so much life gain anymore. And all right, well, let's see if they've got it. We've we've got the answer if for a snap anyway. I don't mind if this gets countered too much. And I might want to do this first because if um, if he does block, I don't really have any outs. So if we let Rancor through, I'm gonna I'm gonna main phase cast Invigorate. If that gets countered, I, I just gotta sit back and protect it with vines. Still haven't even infected him. Ooh. Yeah, you can just build a freeform deck. Yeah, just make sure you're in there. I'm just saying, like, if there's an old one, you can just download, you know, save it to your desktop, import it in freeform, and you're good to go too. It might save you a half hour of looking for cards and stuff but hey man it's all good all right well that blows i'm gonna sit back and do nothing if i attack i'm gonna have to use invigorate either way x and rouge in the house all right oh and those keeping score or if any, did anybody join me on my little fitness challenge it's been about eight or nine days now and i'm down about seven pounds feeling good hitting the cardio like a machine so, uh, still a long ways to go. Sleeping better than ever. Good times. I remember when I went to uh, Pro Tour LA, there were one or two of you that actually came up for the first time I did that and said that they had, if you're in the chat, chime in, uh, or like saying that they kind of joined me, and I didn't even know they did that at the time, but uh, just kind of as a motivational thing and lost a bunch of weight, and one of them turned it around kind of for good. So, whatever that was, hats off to you. Good times. Okay. No touchies. All right. I love this land drop because this lets me attack with abandon. Not really fearing a snap outside of another foil here. Oh, really? Oh, boy. All right. Well, this one. I'll do this. My web browser was zoomed in, so the button wasn't there. It was losing my demo. <laughs> Well, there's half of it. OK. 
Come on, snap. Oh, I was hoping for a snap there. We'd be playing pretty naked after that. My god, I forgot. Cloud of Fairy cycles too. If it wasn't unfair enough, right? Oh yeah, just a complete tempo machine. And eh, if you don't want to have a fey in on the board, don't worry about it. Just cycle it. Finally, I got vacation first time in five years. Oh man, Hex and Rouge. What is it you do, my friend? Good lordy. That sounds like a presidential job at that rate. Everything's unbanned. Everyone in chat, stop asking that. Everything, high tide too, you can play it. Cranial plating, you can play it. Make your deck, get ready and do it quick. Because, uh, does anybody have next? I wouldn't mind, I'm sure Little Fight wants a rematch. I'm having anxiety attacks thinking about the Cloud of Fairies days. No kidding, man. Yeah, that was a no joke back then. All right, well, we don't have many turns left here. All right. Oh, I know he's got a counter by now. There's only two cards. Uh, if he snaps it, I'm going to go for the win. It's so naked feeling. It's like there's no cards in our hand. He can just kind of like swat at us if he wants to. Doing. Oh, man. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> don't have a sprite after this. Please don't have a sprite. I'm your whiny little infect player. Leave me alone. Let me go. Oh, no, you didn't, fairies. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no kidding, Lovecraft. I need a vacation after five hours. All the, like, latest science and stuff doesn't matter what the job is. Always says, like, you know, three, four, maybe five hours is kind of the optimal productivity of a human being. After that, it's a gargantuan fall off of eff efficiency and effectiveness. So if you're employing people, it's not laziness. It's just, it's almost better to just incentivize them with that and keep moving. All right. Well, we've got one out. We're dead next turn. Let's see if we can pull this off. Any counter or another snap, and he's got us, but we're going to wait for after blocks. Might as well go for it here. He's got us if we don't do it. Sir Patchy's in the house. Hello, back to you, sir. Do we got it? Do they have just islands? Show us something that isn't that, which is not something not unlike a counter. Hey! Wow, it got there. I don't think we're going to win this overall, though. Woo! Cool. All right. Well, can you tell this is a problem? Yeah, I run four of those. I don't care about... Well, I might want to care about those. One less here. One less here. One less here. I just want free stuff. One less. We're going to go crazy with these to eat up all the counters. And maybe that. This is a card. If fairies have got you down or if your deck is green, this is so burly at the end of the turn. It's almost like a duress for green because if, or it lets you know that they at least don't have a counter if they let it go through. Take down three fairies with one card. It's pretty awesome. But this is notoriously the worst matchup for, in fact, I have found in the past, even more so than like Pestilence or something, because you can just get those clunky first draws on their end. Delver doesn't do that. Efficiency, efficiency, block, 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 counter, boom, and you're dead. Um, so I've really got to lean hard on the hate with this. That being said, I'm going to go like this. Oh. First thoughts on Storm, if no ban list, but then new Storm. You know, the best Storm player I have ever... I can't say met, but digitally met. His name was uh, Draco, like something right out of the Rocky V movie. And when it got unbanned, he stopped playing Popper. But he used to get me continuously on turn two. It was maddening. It was like, you know, I'd, I'd have, well, you guys know me. I like to I like to really overboard sometimes or really gun it like one meta metagame. And I'd aim at him, and I'd get him every once in a while. But it was amazing how many times he'd just wiggle through it. And uh, turn two, whack. Grape shot, and I'm like, uh, you know, benevolent unicorn was on the stack. Ah, uh. right. oh, sorry. I was like, why does everything look funky? Sorry about these uh, screens, guys. They sure don't like. Uh, oh, that's the problem. Yeah, certainly. All right, we'll keep this. I think got one and done. Booyah! Gosh, good God. 
How much is this thing going to mess with me? Can it just stay? You'd think it would just default to where you just had it. Every week that thing kind of comes and goes. So. Yeah, so a couple weeks ago, right when I got the new mic, I was noticing a, a few peas. If you're new to mic technology, if you say like popcorn or, you know, porcupine, the peas tend to distort a little bit if you're too close to the mic or you don't have what's called a pop filter for that exact thing. A lot of times one of the VO tricks, if you ever uh, have that problem, you can substitute um, P's for H's. Like horcu horcu horcuhine. <laughs> I'm not doing it very well, but I know the pros do it. So we got a nice turn two kill here if they don't have anything. Be really cool if there was like a uh, Pyrexian mana spell that gave trample. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a whole lot of nothing here. We've got vines again. I'm just going to crash in here to just keep his numbers down. Really? Well, I'm going to. Is he blocking or not? It's not blocking. This one. We've got vines. I know. That's what my thoughts exactly. <laughs> no respect. Got to have like a little Rodney Dangerfield little guy pop up. And go, I tell you, groundswell. Or in fact, gets no respect. It even rhymes. Got to be right. Hmm. Well, he's most likely to do this. Come on, Creed. Talking Rocky IV. No respect. What are you doing not blocking? But if we play this again in Chimsky, which I'm more than happy to because these are going to be pretty quick games, you're going to probably get me 2 0. Snap. No. If he's got foil, we might be in trouble here. Look at this little decision tree, eh? Woo! Invigorate, don't you hesitate. So we're going to put you on our dinner plate. Is that enough? I think that's enough. I don't think he blocked. Woo! That's a little Ric Flair style there. All right. And Chimsky, little fight. Get ready. Please, somebody else in chat, have something ready. We're going to roll through a quick few commercials, and we'll be back. Uh, little fight, be happy to play you again, buddy. Um, maybe I'll – these are the only two that I brought today. So request one that um, might be a little – whatever you think you got a, a better shot against. But anyway, I'm going to roll through a few uh, ads here, and we'll be right back after this. And one of the qualities that I've always admired about Ted, really since the day we met, is how incredibly unfable he is. When she joined you here last time, I miss her today. She said that he is a c of a 16-year-old. I just want to f everybody here. I want to f my family. I had a life manager that was putting me in that position. I'd f his ass. I mean, I'll admit it, America. I don't always take a sh every single day on my days off. Yes. Oh my gosh, right? Uh, I'm gonna go out and get drunk and f around and have sex and all the rest of it on Saturday night. Anybody here directly from Donald Trump. He'll be speaking soon at a rally in North Carolina. The latest stop on what he calls his f you tour. God bless you, everybody. We'll be back soon. F you, North Carolina. F you. Did you have a c in your throat? Maybe. Okay. I'm a little bit angry with Jimmy because I <laughs> Him when I found out that he was hosting the Academy Awards. When it comes to the dicks, I just put them all in my mouth. <laughs> that is awesome, by the way. Thank you for allowing me to, you know, on your uh, Harry. <laughs> you know, I had together. nothing to do. That's right, get up. You've got no issues springing forward an hour. I did because I one of my cocks wrong. I mean, like, I didn't my cock, but my okay. phone woke me up and then I fell back asleep. I think that's when you texted yes. me that he was you. And then did he f and then remember? So then I was like, he f you? He lost a tweet once. Who did he f first? Then he f 
Let's not get into that. When, when things not going your way, you know, you can kind of uh, get down on yourself. And you need somebody to kind of in the butt and say, hey, let's go. Have your time. Thanks, as usual, for joining us. F you, Wolf. <laughs> Why can't you just say fine like everybody else? When we say we'll f you, we mean it. They'll f you. Like Popper? Then you'll love Pop It Like It's Hot, the Popper podcast. Tune in every week for new guests and fantastic discussions. Yes, Hex and Rouge, get your free form deck ready in the uh, no ban persuasion before you ask or anybody new asks. Everything's allowed. Yes, High Tide. Yes, Sinkhole. Yes, uh, Hemna Turok. Somebody bring it. Because right now, the only people that have been like signed up and ready are uh, both Little Fight and Chimsky, who I am going to attack Little Fight here for get round number three. These are going to be very fast rounds. Uh, not just my decks are fast. Every deck is just a little bit faster, a little bit more broken. Good grief. Can I... I'm going to um, jump the screens around here and really play Havoc here and try to make this be fixed for good. Sometimes that works. Nope. Do it again. We'll drop over here. Sorry for the bouncy screens, everybody, but it's getting a little monotonous how this keeps uh, jumping around. All right. Yeah, I want to play first. I didn't even look at what we... Okay, so we, we threw this... Oh, my God. <laughs> Boy, what if I... You had better have some removal. We'll keep... I just said, like, oh, it's not that good of a card. It's like, um... We really need some trample here. Woo! Please, no! <laughs> hey, Shirazamon, all right. Looks like you're going to have, have next, if uh, unless somebody else in the chat. But, yeah, like uh, Hex and Rouge, go for it, man. Load up any illegal crap you want, as long as it's popper. I mean, don't be bringing no uh, legacy deck. This better be red. It's almost not enough. We can, we can, even if he had metalcraft, we can withstand everything. This is gross. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, it's like, why don't these hands happen? Like when I'm when I'm playing a Twitch stream. Uh, boink. Oh, this is going to be a really fun match to watch, folks. Unless he's got a double gut shot. This is uh, kind of over here. We at least know Little Fight's not ghosting like he ever would, but... Huzzah! If anything, this will warn people that are just thinking of casually joining tomorrow. It's not like there's a lot on the line. What you're up against, because hands like that can happen. So you better be able to do something quick. Um, there's an article by the play, online player named Signal. I've mentioned it a few times in the past. He has It's called The Wrath of Khan. I think his name is David Khan. But it has a huge rundown of the popular list back in the day before the bands, before most of the bands. So that's a really good starting place because you see decks that are ready for that turn one blitz, you know. All right. Well, uh, we don't have much of anything against this. We've got Nature's Claim. I'm going to take out one of these. And uh, I'm going to take out one of these, bring in two Nature's Claim. I'm going to lean on these a little bit more than usual. I'm going to just go like that. I'm not too big of a fan of Gataxian Pro, but <laughs> Vigor 8 should be banned. <laughs> it is! <laughs> Very strange chat. Yeah, I was like uh, thinking maybe not doing this show, and I'm like, when am I going to get a chance to do a no-banned popper show, you know, that's relevant? I mean, you can do them any damn time you want, but people will be like, what the hell are you doing that for? But in this case, we're promoting tomorrow, uh, hosted by Arctic Ghost and Pure MTGO with the prize support. I believe it's at noon. If you got that video ready, Shiraz, or somebody, um, not Little Fight, because I'm playing him, 
put the uh, promo with the new date and time. You put it up in the chat. I'd appreciate it. You can only run to the promo so many times. All right. So we've got good times here. Man, maybe I will play this tomorrow. This feels pretty ridiculous right now. I don't have a... Hmm. We've got a few ways away from a galvanic blast here. We'll keep this. Put the card on the bottom. I'll throw this down. Done. It's nice to mess with him or get a Mer Enforcer mid to late game, but for right now, I'm all about trying to smash face right now. Cool, cool. I think the best thing about Invigorate with Lotus Petal is that you just don't have to worry about that um, turn to drop a seal of uh, strength like I do in the regular Popper decks, but. You know, I'm really missing Lotus Petal. These these uh, just blitz starts makes you want to go up to four. Maybe 16 basics and four Lotus Petals, so you got a kind of a 20 feel, but you don't get flooded. But then it's like, then you got that argument, well, do you, how many uh, ground swells do you run then, right? He's got a blocker, folks, and it's a big one. Sorry, I was tabbed out frantically building the deck. Don't worry about it, man. Nothing is banned, Hex and Ruse. You can play High Tide. You can play Hymna Turok. You can play Sinkhole. All right. He's looking in our hand. No drawbacks there. Good call, my friend. He's got an early blocker. He's got information. He's looking good. No, pedals aren't banned. They've always been allowed. Nope, they're allowed, Hex and Rouge. All right. Well, I'm going to do this just to get him out of the way. I'm going to burn one of our spells here. I don't know how many creatures he's got, but... Um, I mean, I've got kind of a counter spell here, so I'm actually going to just pay the life for this, drop a Mamba, and hope he doesn't have like some way of like nause nausea or something like that, because then one of our dudes would be dead. But I'm just trying to kill him by numbers here. Keep the pressure on. We still haven't even infected him, but I'm just trying to get people out of the way. Times. That's a nice little little throwback. That's why I went with that 80s intro at the top of the show. It's just kind of like, you know, hey, remember back in the day? You know, found some old cheesy sitcom Charles in Charge style music and went with that. Put a little grain on it to make everybody's TV set or whatever you're watching it on look old school. Good time. Don't really worry about black being showing up here. Sneak fast. What's up? Good to see you. Hey, if you want to join us, uh, just get your uh, popper deck that nothing is banned. Not high tide, not sinkhole, not him to nothing. Save it as a free form deck and come challenge away, my friend. I know it's short notice. We've had a few things up on Facebook and on the Twitch show. And yeah, if you're ever into the into the whole community aspect, make sure to uh, always check out our uh, our Twitch feed. We usually about a week before or well, that's a lie. About four or five days before, usually, we have uh, kind of what the premise of the show is going to be. Most of the time, it's a tournament. Big deal. You show up, little peanut gallery, we're good to go. But these community shows, it's kind of cool. And then usually it's a popper list, so there's not really much reason to do that. But in this case, it's good to know that stuff uh, in advance. All right. Let's attack. I don't think another critter is going to do us much good here. Explosive apparatus. All right, I'm gonna regenerate this one. And I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna get in my getting while I can get it. I'll do that. Hiya. Fortunately, I don't have any collection on MTGO. Oh, bummer. Thunzy21, hey, long time lurker here. Good to see ya, and thank you for chiming in finally. And if you wanna challenge away, go for it. Yeah, the no band tournament is tomorrow. Go to gatherling.com. And uh, maybe, I think Shiraz just took a smoke break, but when he comes back, somebody can ask him for the link. It's pretty much gathering.com. And, ooh, first strike. That's going to be nasty. Tough to get around that. Wow, well, I have been stultified. Explosive apparatus in the house. It's going all in with the affinity theme, huh? Okay, we got double ability. Let's sit back and, hey, finally a game that goes past turn three, right? 
Yeah, it's a pretty cool idea. I know Arctic Ghost has been pretty excited about it. That's why we uh, go the extra mile, try to promote people that are all about Popper. And just like the uh, new Pop It Like It's Hot podcast, cannot recommend that one enough. They have an in-depth interview with uh, Paulo Cabral from Brazil. Uh, language barrier aside, fantastic interview. Um, I mean, gosh, ask me to speak Brazilian, right? I'd be like, you know, maybe one or two words. Be like, God, that was the stupidest interview ever. Guy's a bag of hammers. It's like, I only know one language. I do know sign language, but that's quite a stretch. Well, we've got an in. I'm going to sit back. I always know when I'm playing against a Brazilian, they usually have BR after their name, if you haven't noticed, but they also like to type ja, ja, ja with J-A-J-A, which is our form of ha, 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 because they don't usually use the H in that, um, what would you call, uh, not lexicon, um, nomenclature, yeah. Woo. In fact, it's just too slow a deck. This is true. Right now it is. Apostle's Blessing, going to make it work. Monocolor Strategies and Apostle's Blessing, good times, good times. Berserk is uncommon. Yeah, I don't believe Berserk is allowed. What sort of treachery is this? Sky Scanner? Three mana for a 1-1? One, one? I better not lose to this. All right. Well, Ooh. I wish this was an artifact. You know, when I look at this artwork, I always think of the hawk. I see that little creature in the bottom left. My youngest drew the artwork for this for one of our little, um, what are those called, um, charades game or, you know, uh, Pictionary. And I was like, what on earth? That's not a glint hawk. And then I looked at it and I'm like, how did I miss that this whole time? I'm always in a, but boy, that lure, uh, that vacant stare of the glint hawk's eyes is always what grabs me. And I, this little guy in the corner is just... It's like, bleh, I wonder what that thing is. Treasure Cruise, yes. Califi Jason, Brazilian, uses KKK or ha ha. Ja, ja, ja is Spanish. Well, uh, sorry. <laughs> I just noticed everybody Brazilian tends to use that, so you might want to tell them. Yes, I, I do mean Portuguese, probably. Insert ignorance here. All right. Uh, I can at least kill some stuff, and I've, I've got some backup. I'm just going to go in with one thing. Well, no, I've got to go in with two if I'm going to do anything. Let's go. He's tapped out. Don't have to really worry about a double play with explosives. Just got to worry about Porcelain Legionnaire. There's a little bit too many critters out right now. I've got this in a pinch. And we'll at least get rid of one of his blockers. So this way, if he doesn't pop one of them, I can at least uh, call artifacts and swing for the win if I draw the right cards. Got him at so many infect counters that I've never played a Clinton Hawk in my life, so I have an excuse. <laughs> oh, good. So, with Tobu, I, that was the same thing with me, man. I was just like, what is that? <laughs> I was like, I, I, my kid does that all the time. He'll draw something, and uh, Palace Guards was another one. It was like some dead body in the corner, and I'm like, that's not Palace Guard. And he was like, yeah, it is. Look. And I was like, holy crap. Just, man, it's like they, they tell you when you're driving vehicles like your mind is literally blinded to like things that aren't cars and a lot of other stuff with everybody with their phones in their face all the time but so a lot of times these motorcyclists get hit and the person literally will look over they're right there but they don't see them because their mind's just not they're waiting to look for a car something on four wheels and very interesting science behind that been learning a wee bit about that this is a strange play he must have an answer you have to glint to see it, says Nimchimsky. Ah, oh, you got me. I need more coffee to stay up with you guys. And boy, I have been I've been playing some leagues, a lot of a lot of three twos. I had a two three, and uh, but boy, I'm trying my Azorius build again because this guy is everywhere, and uh, it does pretty good against Stompy and anything else. So I'm good to go. All right, I think we got the win here. Two mana. Can't trip explosives. He's got chromatic, so he's got two mana of any color. I'm rolling here, man. Let's go. 
No, Mike, man, I've quite the opposite. It's been super robust and a uh, deluxe of coffee. <laughs> hey, that'd be a good uh, coffee commercial. But it wouldn't make any sense because it's not really about a card. Who cares if it's about me? But yeah, I've, I've been, uh, I was just raving about two weeks ago about Magic Online. Like, you know, when was the last time it really crashed on anybody? And I really like it. Okay, let's see if the blocks happen. This is game one. Anybody got next? Uh, Nimchimsky, you up for another one? I can play the other deck if you like. We'll regenerate this. And we'll go for the win with this. We've got backup and blessing. Um, it's going to be a short show if nobody else wants to chime in. Uh, oh, sure, Razamon's got next. All right. But after that, feel free. Uh, anybody else wants to uh, join in, man. Oh, it's okay. we got another game after this one. Oh, we will call this. I apologize, my friend. I've got it again. Call blue right now somewhere in North Carolina. Someone's going, son of a bitch. What happened? I called blue, didn't I? Did I just punt? What the hell happened? What happened? Okay, I get it. He quit, and then the, the stuff fell off. That was a weird little bug. Or did it? I want to see if I screwed up. Game log. And it won't let me see that. I swore I called blue. All right. Is that you, Shiraz? I always forget your name. Preform tournament practice. I guess it's the Endbringer. Same name? All right, let me go back to my uh, deluxe red here. Submit that. All right. Yeah, sorry about that little fight, man. I just had the nuts. I gave protection the right one. Thank you for that, uh, Talia Frost. I, uh, yeah, I was just going crazy. Like, why did everything come back to my hand? But I was just saying how robust the software was, and there it just kind of did a little glitch from the uh, concession there. But all right. Uh, now, Shirazman says he's got the same name, and I see Ian Bringer just hanging up there, so <laughs> I like what Little Fight called this illegal as hell. <laughs> Very nice. I was waiting for you. Hang on. All right. I just don't want to start one because then some random guy will show up and be like, what the hell is this? I wonder if they ever have any full-on free-form tournaments. I'll have to go from there. God, man, I wish that screen would leave me alone. Shirazaban. And if it, one wasn't enough, two is the number of the day. Woo! So if nobody's up next, we might just be calling it after this. Unless somebody wants to join up. I don't want to just keep playing the same two lists, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, I want to play first. Oh, boy. This is very pretty. Wow. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this. It's just, God, if I had, if I knew I had a, um, I used to run Crimson Wisps. It's a cantrip for red, gives a creature haste. Um, and I know I have, I do have uh, Bushwhackers. All right. Well. Let's, uh, I think that's worth waiting on. I'm just going to pull this and try my old deluxe red muscle memory. I'll just play this. Zabog. Hey, that's actually relevant. Red of Flame goes bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm winning a lot today when it doesn't matter. The old school rules. I got quite an advantage on uh, just kind of knowing what's out there. Well, we'll pull this off. Let's uh, pull a life, see how long this uh, Kiln Fiend is going to stay alive. Probably not very long. Let's see. What an honest list. He must have Hemna Turok. There it is. Woo! Hemna Turok. Let's see how this feels. Okay, done. 
We gotta lose two things at random. I'll show you random. Woo! Do that. Cycle this. Play this. Have fun with your hymn to Turok. Okay. Boom. Yeah, somebody double check that. I don't think Ride of Flame is popper legal. If so, I might have to put it back in the. I might have to rework this. All right. Come on, something relevant. Damn it. You know what? It's about time we draw bad. I know I'm Captain Complainer here in my card frame or whatever I called myself. But I can't always top deck. All right. Yeah, you just never see it anymore. It's surprising uh, somebody hasn't tried to make something big come out. Maybe a Rakdos with Gurmag Angler or something. I don't know. Every turn that goes by... Rager gets bigger. So if we draw a, uh, this is good, but if we drew like a, a lava dart, you can see why I prefer it. it access to every card. Why don't you play Lightning Bolt? Because you could. It's it's two and one. That makes both of these a seven two, as opposed to just clearing the way once. Yeah, at this stage of the game, I'm just gonna go nuts here. I'll trade some uh, removal here and just try to attack with everything. Sometimes you have just these redonkulous draws of Empty the Warrens and have Goblin, and it's just over on turn two, so. We're learning all kinds of stuff today, folks. Woo! So yeah, I, honestly, I might just make it a coin. I just think Infect's going to be everywhere, and this deck runs uh, Lava Dart and Spark Spray. Not because of that, but just main because of uh, Synergy. And uh, defense and offense all at once, so. Three mana. Can we do it? Hey, if I was a good player, I'd be, like, checking stuff off here. Come on, now. Let's go like this. Uh, oh, him, him's gone. Rager's gone. And now our Kiln Fiend's gone. Shiraz going to go old school. Going to just call it. Ha! Man, that Gary Merchant's going to gain him a lot of life here. Ah, that's four life he's going to get back. Son of a gun. Um, Garamag's going to come online too. Yeah, Nimchimski, go for it, man. Or make it illegal for tomorrow. I wish I had a crystal ball. I'm going to say, well, no, I'm not going to do anything because if he chittering rats is me, I want to uh, be able to do something. I'm going to sit back. Or I attack, zap the chittering rat, and then he's got less. I actually think I'm going to do that. I just don't want his uh, devotion to black to build up too much. Anyone like to keep playing after the show? I'm down for tuning my deck. Sweet. I might join you, my friend. I thought I had another trailer to cut today, but it's uh, been a kind of a slow week, so... All right, playing naked. Hope you just drew your hymn to Turok. All right, one of those is down. These are very pretty swamps. Nice call. Ouch. This is getting out of hand quick. Feels like uh, 18 to 3, we've got this, but anybody who plays this game long enough knows we don't have anything along the lines of a lightning bolt, which would be really nice right now, but... Nice patience being shown. <coughs> oh, and uh, on a deluxe cough note, um, I'm at about eight or nine days into my medication, which is mostly an acid issue. If you didn't catch last week's show, and that lingering cough I had for months actually had to do with uh, acid, kind of like acid reflux, even though I don't have that, but it's uh, kind of in the same family. So the mystery has been solved. I haven't coughed in like 48 hours at all. And I've still got about another five days of uh, steroids to keep working on. So, Mike, man, I might catch you. Whoa! Just kidding. <laughs> the show about the Lux cough. <laughs> it could be. I know some of them have been in the past. Uh, that was one or two days there where it was pretty bad. Apologies for the uh, 
sonic microphone issues. Hmm. Kermag Angler, we don't have any turns left. Carrie's going to show up, eat our life pretty hardcore here. About the only way I can resist this is maybe to just sit on uh, something like a uh, Hope to just draw into maybe another Metamorphosis and then in a pinch go off with Warrens, get lucky. Because uh, his life is going to get mighty healthy this next turn with uh, Gary showing up. <laughs> Ouch. I should have a little ET icon. Ouch. <laughs> I to cough no more. You guys are killing me. He's been coughing for a month and a half as well. Don't know why. It could be the cold. The cough doesn't remain. I sneezed. I don't believe I coughed, though. Infected, yes. Well, hey, look at this. I might be able to have some life. Come on, three more metamorphoses. Let's go, red, red. It is a simple deck. Hmm. Let's do this to this. I'd love if he was back at three life. Darn it. Where was that, right? Huzzah! Roar! I'm still going to get you. I'm going to get. All right, little. Woo! And out of the blue, an army arises. No! This is what you want. Lava dart. Let's double check our yard. We don't have Lava Dart. It is a good game. Shirazamon takes down game one. Good job, my friend. Woo. All right. Bam. Like he was waiting for your ass. Yeah. It's almost like he knows the deck. As everybody does by now. Okay. Like the free spells. Like that. Uh, going to lose a Spark Spray. One bushwhacker. I'll bring in two raiders and a seal. I like seal against mono black because it kills most of their creatures. We'll go like this. As Curly would click. I wonder if he's playing sinkhole. You kind of got to have to dedicate yourself to a sinkhole play, I would think, but. Somebody might. Niagara Falls. Oh, man. Mike, man, <laughs> you are on top of it. You just can never get over your, your, you should be on Jeopardy or something, man. You are just, anybody knows Three Stooges, like if you really know Three Stooges, you're going to know what he means there. That's crazy. So <laughs> step inch by inch. All right. This is good. This is good. Yes, yes, I like this. All right, we'll keep. <laughs> I don't think anybody got it unless you're like 80 or 90 years old or you're a big fan of the uh, Three Stooges, which I have been for life. And all both my boys are too. They have, we have seen every one of them probably, not counting me, them being teenagers, have seen each, each ep every single episode probably at least four or five times. Amazingly talented. Curly Howard, a lot of people don't know... Uh, Larry was the only non-brother. Shemp and um, Mo were both Curly's brothers. And uh, they were all classically trained actors. And he was not. Yet he was by far the funniest and most, you know, had the most uh, draw on camera. Very strange. Oh, that's a brutal little play, isn't it? All right. What you going to take, sucker? No problem, little. Yeah, I always felt felt bad for Shemp. I I hate his episodes, but it's just boy, try try being upstaged by Curly or like when he went down, you know. Little known fact, Curly shot himself in the left leg cleaning a gun when he was about 6 or 7 years old. That's why if you look, he's got a funny little limp, but it makes him all the more funny cuz he's got this weird little walk that just looks a little bit off. I'll take Shemp over. Oh, what? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, the other Curlies, you're right. Those are pretty atrocious. Well, let's save this for the big boom. Hopefully, he's just sitting on a hymn to Turok. 
Yeah, you know what though the uh, the movie that came out like seven or eight years ago, I was very impressed. I was like, wow. I mean, it's just a bad idea to even try to mimic that, but I think they did a really good job. I was I was pretty impressed. I think we got this. <laughs> Myers to what does this do? Reveal the number of cards from the hand equal to the number of swamps you control. Choose one of them. That player discards that card. Hmm. I'll leave this up a little bit bigger for everybody to read, just in case you're watching this on YouTube going, huh? I didn't know that card existed. It does. If you go mono black, not a bad card. <laughs> all right. Now the question remains. Do we go all in? We do not. He's got two... I'll let him see the two that we don't care too much about. This one comes back. I'll probably pull flame. Lava dart. Interesting. I can just bring it back by sacrificing a mountain. They should force people to be better players and say sacrifice a tapped mountain. This would be good. We're going to go like this. We're going to get out of uh, the territory here. I can probably bring this back. At a later date for right now, I'm just going to go crazy and try to smash face. Boom, boom. Yep. And we'll attack. <laughs> Good times. Anybody got next game? I know we're playing Shiraz now. I might just call it after this one if nobody else wants to uh, play. It can be a short show. But if Hex and Ruse, uh, did he confirm or was, is that, I sometimes chat will go by me and I, I'll miss a uh, thing there, so. I think so. Hexen, is that true? Is Nim Chimsky speaking out of, out of turn or is it, have you got next? That'd be cool. That would make a variety of opponents. We could end it at that one. Unless somebody else wants one. Hex and Ruse. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Make it a lively show. I was really afraid it was just going to be a little fight me and maybe one game with Nim and that was going to be it. But this is turning out okay, especially considering. All right. So we're going to rock like this. And I think we got this. I think nothing. We do. Unless he's got a snuff out. But even then, that would really hurt him more than it would help. Don't forget, my precious. We have Lava Dot. Uh, so we're going to tap it just out of habit. We're going to hit him in the face. Sacrifice this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We'll go like this. So that's five. And then we can do this. Uh, that's uh, a target creature. Yeah. So we'll say this one. Sacrifice the goblin. Yeah. Do it to its own ability. And we're off to game three. Woo. Winning in the purest fashion with one creature on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any better than that. Woo. All right. One of these years, i got to make a deck just called... Woo! The Ric Flair. That'll be good times. It's our first game three of the day. This is nice. See? Things can go down. I'm sitting here talking about not having a cough, but I always do get a little nose drippies. All right. I'm liking this. I'm just going to keep it. Where are these at, man? Seething Song is just staying hidden from me here. Hi. We'll take a real quick break after this, and then Hex and Rouge... Uh, be ready if you don't mind in about five minutes and I think we'll end the show there unless hey if you're if you're dying to play and you've got a uh, deck and you're ready to go by all means say up oh, I got next but make sure it's all in caps and uh, I see it maybe tag me at propaganda or something so that I see that big bold uh, rectangle show up in the corner there so the let's know you guys and it'd be a uh, have some hospital feed right always something Oh, boy. I've got three ways to look at a card and nothing much to do with them. To keep it interesting, I'm just going to keep it. Open up the yard. Got nothing. I've got three ways to draw. I think I... He, what do you call... Um, him and the Turok might be coming our way. All right. I'll save that for later. 
Yeah, let's do this. Just in case he hems us, I'll keep the Forgotten Cave in my hand till the end step. Sign in blood. Love that play. That's going to keep things moving. All right. Oh, this could get nasty quick. What do you say we go for it? Huh? I say we go for it. Let's go. We've got an opening. Let's try to let's try to take it. Red, red. All right. Let's do this again. Red, red. We don't have any more draw. <laughs> you gigantic fool. Look at this amazing play. Are you ready? Wah, wah. Hey, man, it's a glass cannon. That's going to happen. Sometimes you feel like a goblin looking down the barrel, cleaning it the wrong way. Boom! <laughs> Do it! LOL. Man, Shiraz, you're making me want to get these mount or these uh, swamps. These are pretty nice. It's a pretty clean swamp, considering. I'll see your crypt rats. In fire! Whoa. All right. This is the kind of hand I like. First, we're going to remove the obstacle, the obstacle. We're going to play right of flame. We're going to play this. Why do we do that? Because then we can go like this. Cast. Boom. Why not? Boom. I'm trying to represent. It'd be nice if we had another kiln fiend, but we don't. Anything in our yard we could flash back? Nope. Kind of a messy outing here. I mean, we got him at eight life, but with a mountain in hand, this doesn't feel that good. Could have gone Nova. You see there, sometimes you can drop a... Um, Empty the Warrens with Kilnfiend active and then Bushwhack. It's just gross. We haven't really seen a gross hand yet. Usually Seething Song is required for that. So, <laughs> Tulurag. All right. What do we got here? Game three. What do we got? Him? I sure hope it's not a chittering rat. It's going to... Serve many uh, purposes. No chittering, no chittering. I have no answers. Doink. Okay. Notice both times him has been played, it has only grabbed one mountain. So far, not. I mean, this probably isn't the most optimal deck because I can kind of like belch out my hand pretty fast. But oh, that would have been nice. At least I got to put two dudes down. But now, if there's a chittering, this might be his game to win. Give me a ride in flame, metamorphose. Ah, darn it! I, if I'm a betting man, which I am, I would bet on Shiraz here. Three cards to our one. Playable. All right. Can't really attack us, but I feel like there's a few more Garys behind that. I love me some Lava Dart. There's a new artwork for that, too. I don't quite know if it's better or worse. You to hit a little bit of a critical mass here, depending. Oh, man, this blows. He better choose Empty the Warrens. <laughs> Alright. I'm actually going to Lava Dart right now. It's better in my yard with this mana count the way it is. I want to appear to be naked, which we are. Mike, man, I love it, man. You're capping up the old school, baby. Woo! Right of Flame. Man, I wish that was a... I looked at this artwork. It's just kind of weird. Perspective's a little off. I'm not even sure that's really good artwork. Nothing against this Danny guy, but... Hmm. 
Very identifiable, though. Shiraz is winning again. Damn it. Yeah, Shiraz is probably going to come away with this one. We are probably dead next turn. <laughs> What's in the bag? Ah, damn it. I got a hold in case we drop a... Uh, we could go down to one. He'll probably sign and blood us, but... Chainer's Edict, we don't really mind at all, especially with the Empty the Warrens style, but... Oh, he did it. Oh, he didn't do it. Hey, Shiraz, I think you punted a little bit there. Hit us for six and then sign and blood us. And you've got it. But right now, unless you got a chittering round, I think you've given us another turn that we shouldn't have had. Do you have another sign and blood? Maybe that's why. Are we going to be dead too? Oh. Down this goes. Everybody gives Shiraz a hard time when he gets back. You guys always raz me. Uh, we're dead. Good game, Shiraz. Here, I'll just let him kill me. I'll be a gentleman about it. I'm hellbent. Come and get it. Dinner bell. Ding, ding, ding. Good for you, my man. Bam. Oh. All right. Well, that could have been a turn sooner, but good job, my friend. Flip the table. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot. We should have had that queued up and ready to go. All right, guys, I'm going to go to a quick little sunset ad. Hex and Rouge, get ready. Be right back after this. down or despondent? Has a friend or loved one noticed you look withered? Then Phyresius may be right for you. Phyresius is an all-natural Phyrexian supplement that can give you a different outlook on life. Do not take Phyresius while enchanted, equipped, or have shroud. Players taking Phyresius should not man vehicles for at least three turns. Avoid contact with humans or merfolk if you've had a recent gut shot or have had any interactions with the graveyard. In extreme cases, exile may occur. Ask your alchemist if Phyresius is right for you. Available at Morass's Market. Common Knowledge, the Popper Podcast, is hosting a five-card blind tournament. What is five-card blind? It's a format where each player submits a five-card deck that the hosts play against other decks until one winner is decided. Games are played optimally with full knowledge of the opponent's deck, and you do not lose the game by running out of cards in your library. $300 prize pool in store credit redeemable through mtgotraders.com. What do we need from you? A list of five cards printed at Common and your Magic Online screen name. That's it. It's totally free. Submissions due before September 31st via email email to commonknowledgemtg at gmail.com. Winners will be decided October 31st on the podcast, so make sure you tune in. You can tune in to Common Knowledge on YouTube or your podcatcher of choice. Only one entry per person. Empty the warrants is banned. Additional details can be found at patreon.com forward slash common knowledge. All right, guys. Shiraz, congratulations, my friend. But as nobody's pointing out, you could have signed and blood me a turn sooner. So Hex and Rouge, yes, what is your... I think we do this about every month or so. We ask Hex and Rouge. I think it's at a Menmon or something like that. I think it was better. Yeah. You too, my friend. Yeah, that was cool. Really like your taste in swamps too. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, you could see glass can and sometimes people can get really like, oh my God, this deck's everything. And then you can be like, oh my God, this deck's nothing. <laughs> That's right. All right. Yeah, you can direct challenge Hex and Rouge. If you can't find the room, that's fine. Just make sure the format is free form and then I'll get a little notice and I... I think I'll, uh, I think I'll go out with, uh, you know, I kind of want to play this one one more time. In fact, it's kind of a known thing. I think people are a little bit more interested in how this one runs. So if you're uh, just joining us, we've got 13 mountains, three caves, four pedals, four spark sprays for just mostly the uh, cycle and the speed, and to nab our own uh, tokens if echoing truth happens yet again. Texian probe, no stranger to that. Rite of flame gives you two. Uh, Goblin bushwhacker, lava dart, flashback, sacrifice the mountain and all that so we're gonna go right away again and i'm gonna try to get a little bit of revenge here not revenge but 
I'll give the deck one more shot. And this is it. So if uh, this will be the last round, unless somebody in the chat that's new says, hey, I want to give this a try, then all for it, man. Go for it. So it's up to you guys if you want this to be the end. But woo, this is a colossal, mean, brutal hand. All right. We'll keep this. This is when being on the draw is even better. Good old mono black. Booyah! All right, well, hmm. I'm going to get out the uh, Kiln Fiend here. Ouch! All right. I don't think I've even seen this played before. Sp spatial Contortion. Plus three, minus three until the end of turn. Very interesting. This felt good, but now we're kind of drawn a little bit clunky. Maybe I should have cast a Bushwhacker there. We'll see. Oh, man. Does he got it already? Turn three, natural Tron. That's fair. That always happens to me, wink, wink. Hmm. All right. Okay. Don't really have much here. I'm going to wait one more turn. I'll end of turn a uh, lava dart. Maybe. Yeah, Hex and Rouge is one of the many people that has like 18 usernames. Making things very obvious. <laughs> so says the guy. <laughs> Known as Propaganda, but plays as Deluxe God, right? That's what I thought, Nimchimsky. I don't know if uh, I, uh, Hex and Rouge got the... Uh, remember, this still has to be Popper. You can't just play illegal cards, but... Maybe it was printed in uh, one of the treasure chests is common. It looks a little too good to not to not be played more, though. That's pretty solid removal at instant speed that's colorless. I think that might be... Uh, it's special. But special is... Oh, okay. All right. Hex and Rouge, you cheater. Those watching you later. Not common. Still has to be that way. Okay. <laughs> Only two printings. Thank you for that, Shiraz. Yeah, I was just like, I would have had to have seen that by now. It's not great, but it's definitely good. Let's do this just for the flashback ability. If we, we really want to pull some Tron here. Pull some Tron? What am I talking about? Oh, come on! I guess we'll drop this. At least we've got lots of... Um, we'll hit from here. This will equal two more. I'll drop here. Be nice if we had a bushwhacker backup or if we drew another Ride of Flame. Alrighty. Oh well. Maybe you misunderstood. <laughs> Watch, we're going to get time walked or <laughs> fact or fiction. We'll be like, wait, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Got to be careful with that word. <laughs> Nothing's banned. It's like, it's still popper. <laughs> Got the cloud post idea. That, those are legal tomorrow. If you're just joining us and you're wondering what the hell is going on. This is a no rules popper tournament, but it still has to be popper. In preparation of tomorrow's show hosted by Pure MTGO and the awesome host Arctic Ghost. I believe at noon. We got Rolling Thunder here. Make mincemeat out of me. Wambo. You know, you always want to think like, oh, if I was in a magic world, that'd be pretty cool. But man, you look up at the sky and you see something like that coming at you. Yikes. 
Makes you go on a party with some goblins. Yes, I am, Gunk Splash. I'm the one that made the old mono red storm. I don't think there were many other people that played it other than me. It's definitely inferior by just a little bit to uh, traditional, but kind of catches people off guard too. So uh, next turn, maybe two. So we hit for four, six, eight. We would hit four. I don't want to start getting pieced apart by. Uh, these guys, so I'm just gonna, you know, try to get him within fire blast range. Would have been nice if he attacked. Huzzah! We do 10. Do 8 next turn. Uh, if you got the promo up, I think it's at noon. I'm not sure. Actually, go to gathering.com, and it'll have, like, a countdown thing. Because wherever you are in the world, it'll say, like, tournament begins in, like, 14 hours or something like that. It probably says something like 19 hours right now. Yeah, that's right, Shirazman. He's playing illegal. <laughs> I'll only rub it in if he wins. And then I'll brag about it if I win. I know how that goes, right? I'm a promotions guy after all, right? This is water, by the way. I don't want to advertise this sugary crap. My wife left this around, though, so... I really like this magnesium supplement. It's like a healthy glass of wine. Ooh, I like that. Okay. We've got defense now. Multiple creatures. How did he gain life? What the hell is this thing? The last time I saw this played, uh, Kung Fu Trees beat me with it. Uh, I think Kung Fu Trees could brew with like a, a broom and some old stale, like, I don't know, loaves of bread and probably somehow beat you with it. Eh, guys, quite adept. Has our carves and Paulo Cabral, the leaderboard. Crazy hats off to you guys, man. Oh, no, Mike, man. I'm clean as a whistle for the prolonged future, at least. Like I said, my goal is to get in the... Down about 30 pounds. I'm at about 6 right now, so... All right, well... Hmm. Wish we had a storm mechanic to kind of make this work. I'm getting the 13, he blocks two of them. We got two, four, six, seven, eight. He's at seven. Does this have Annihilator? Oh, yeah, that's how you get in the five life. All right. Um, I think we might want to sit back here. If I draw like a Warrens, it would be pretty fun, fun times. I've also got Rite of Flame that could be an option here. Or not. Or 13. Oh, actually, no. If he had, I mean, if he had attacks, I block this. So I'm going to pass the turn. I think I'll throw that Lava Dart at him. Deluxe is skinny. I hope so. Not skinny. I don't want to be gaunt or anything, but yeah. It's mostly a blood pressure thing. I was just looking... When I did get my chest x-rayed and everything, they took my stats and were just like, oh, that's a little high. And I'm like, it always is high, damn it. And that was the thing I was talking a little fight about it. Yeah, he had one of the best things. I was like, you know, over time, you always think like, you know, you, you have a glass of wine especially. It's supposed to relax you. And you think like, well, how's that raise your blood pressure? But he had a really good uh, summation of, the, of, of how it goes down and it really stuck in my mind. So that for the most part. Always good to keep yourself in check, right? About every three or four months, I usually do something like a 90-day detox or clean up or whatever. If you follow the show, it's nothing new. Yeah, that's about right. Little fight. Of course, I've always been probably like Mike Man, built Mesomorph. So 
I stare at a weight in the room and I gain muscle, but so I always run a little heavier than normal. 180 is a good weight for me, but I really want to get to the 170 mark. And then I will think about maybe something of the alcohol persuasion, but maybe even not. I don't know. I feel so good without. It's good times. All right. Let's uh, double kick this. Woo! Now, they might actually I'll be able to kill one of them. Shooting for 190 right on. Yeah, I'm about 194 right now. Just under about the 10 pound. I think it's been like eight days, and I think I'm at like seven or eight pounds under, or just a little under a pound a day. Pretty healthy uh, results. Better pay attention to what I'm doing here. Yeah, we don't have them yet. If that uh, explosive apparatus wasn't there, I'd, I'd have them with the lava darts. <laughs> Heroin. Now, I could kill the wretched Griff. He's going to drop one of my dudes. Take nine. We've got him scared, though. He's scared, I tell you. Yeah. Deal two damage to any meal. All right. Those lava darts, I don't need to do them now. I could kill a wretched griff, maybe. What am I doing? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just sitting here going, hmm, yeah, next turn, I'm going to do this, this, and this. It's like, no, you're just dead. I'll throw that out now, and hopefully he, he plays way too defensive. <laughs> All he has to do is attack. I'm hell-bent and tapped out. <laughs> but the only... Scenario there I was hoping he didn't see the uh, explosive apparatus, which is pretty you'd have to be pretty blind and Down it comes it gains more life Lava dart five life and we're dead good job hex and rouge Bam off to game two has anybody got next game? Otherwise, this will be the last game of the show. I won't ask again, but if somebody yells it out in chat, I will oblige. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything, Shiraz? <laughs> Shiraz, i got to know what that means. Just the Illuminati or something? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I've, I've, got, I've got excuse rights here. All right, so I'm going to bring in Mog Raiders just because... It, it's going to serve double duty. I'm going to take out Lava Darts because it's kind of the same sort of thing here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'll take out two and two here. I like these because if I attack with a bunch of dudes and he's got those blockers, you guys know the math. I attack with eight things, he blocks with seven, I still win. Do not forget to play Magic for entertainment value. Ah, I see. Kim Trails, I see. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll start uh, end up with three three straight losses. Who knows? Is that you saying you want to play one more time, little fight, or what? Because otherwise, I'm just going to call it, I'm going to call it a show after this one. Yeah, I lose plenty in front of y'all. Always trying out new stuff. Man, it is a mountain too much to ask this to this to this. This, this, this. Yeah, oh, man. I, why couldn't I have one mountain here? These are those kind of hands where it's just like, it's over, Prime. Get that one, Mike, man. All right. A little Megatron action from 1988. What am I looking at this for? I can keep this. But if I do, and I draw one mountain, it might be over. Or a lotus petal. Oh, I'm going to keep it. Screw it. We'll keep. <laughs> So a little fight you got next or no? Steamboater. <laughs> I'd never had Megatron either. It was one of the only Transformers I didn't have. My buddy Trevor was the only one in our whole town that had one. All right. Woo! <laughs> All right. Little's next, and then we'll call it a show. Already more than I thought. We could see what it says or chat. Oh. 
I don't want to play bouncy screen here. I'm not sure what that is. Hex and Rouge. Come on, land, and we got this. Land. I'll take it. Casper Red. Do this. We'll do this. Finally, a nice, just hardcore storm outing. Do this. Watch, we're going to see like electric or you be like, no! We're good to go. Hey, a mountain too. We'll do this. Oh, this keeps getting better and better. We'll do this. We'll do this. Yeah, baby. I wish this was in the yard. Take that sucker, turn two. Who's got your infected? How to do this? Smile. I've <laughs> tried to make that the uh, page for the YouTube video. I've never thought of doing that before, but. Oh, you know what's coming, sucker. Booyah! It says 38. As I forget to attack. Room. Splat. 34. All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Goblin's whacking all over your face. <laughs> Mike, man, let's keep it PG, my friend. All right. My writers are nowhere to be seen there. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get rid of that damn message. All right. Sorry, Hex and Rouge, I'll read it later. Okay, okay. It ain't so bad. Got a first turn fiend. I think it'll lose in the caves altogether. It's just an old build, and I, I kind of like was listening to myself on my own shoulder, just thinking like, you know what, play it like you left it, because there's a reason I had those. But every time I see them, I'm just like, mm. I mean, yeah, if you have those bad draws, and you, you want to cycle, but I don't know if it's worth the drawback. I think it was an ongoing uh, debate in my head. I'll keep this. Deluxe of whack. <laughs> Not it myself. <laughs> Damn filthy goblins. PG-13. Good enough. Let me drop this for an early fiend. The scary persuasion. We'll go like this. Yes, uh, Crimson Wisps was often a list here. You know, if you like emollienting soul eater, which is a artifact, does a similar thing as Kiln Fiend, but you can pay life. I messed around with those two. This was a thing way before uh, Nevik Cyclops was even a card. And then that slowly became kind of the way to play this. But boy, with Storm, you get that ridiculous consistency. Ah, man. I'll play this. I'm going to do this just for the Storm ability and to act as a defense later. This will at least add up a little bit more value. Next turn, we're going to kind of go Nova. If we get like a Bushwhacker, it'll be pretty cool. Like if we get a Bushwhacker Mountain, I can Ritual, Morphous, that. Eh, maybe not. It's not that great. What do we have here? This is game three. In Texan Rouge. Hopefully he doesn't have that non-popper card again, because I don't want people to be confused later on on YouTube, but... That's, 
Yeah, there it is. That's not pop or legal. Even tomorrow. That's okay. Shame, shame. He's doing it on purpose. <laughs> I'm just happy to have a different opponent each round. This is good times. Hmm. Let's see what we're up against. Just on the off chance. Alrighty. Tough. I could just drop that, wait a turn. Engineered explosives is going to take one out. I'm just going to play possum with this one. Maybe he'll trip the uh, explosives at the end of turn here. There's no more coffee in there. Damn it. If you play Arena, you should play this card just because of the sound effect. It's so cool. It's one of the only things that makes me want to play Arena. I wish that sound effect was in this one, but I do like the elegance of just MTGO, though, man. It's like the old man's magic, or the, the grinder's magic. It's all business. Game's confusing enough. I don't need the whole screen swirling around and giggling and animating. And I get used to it after a, an hour or two, but coming from this, it's just kind of like, I don't know, just throwing rainbows in your eyes. It's like, good lordy, can I focus on the game, please? Something big, something wicked this way comes. Something wretched this way comes. Wretched gif. Griff. Griff, griff. All right, kill, kill, kill. All right. Boy, Tron sure likes you, Hex and Rouge. This is like the third game where you just have it. Well, I'm going to just look. Now, if I see it empty the warrens, we're going to have a good time here. But if we don't, I'm just going to drop the fiend and just uh, hope for more later. Hey, all right. So we'll play this. Casey's got echoing tricks. It'd be really overkill to do that right now. So we'll cast this. That's three, four. I got that. We got that. I'll play this. I could have two more tokens had I tripped the dart, but we're. Uh, I want to have some defense against um, echoing tricks. So this feels pretty good here. The autumn people, huh? That sounds like a pretty scary movie. The autumn people. All right, Little Fight, do you have a preference for the next game, my friend? I want you to definitely be able to call the deck and be ready for it. I've only brought Infect and Deluxe Red today, so let me know which one you prefer to face. And if you just have Affinity, you probably want to go against Infect because of the uh, Gorilla Shamans in Game 2 and 3, which I have a full four of sideboard. But yikes, what's this? Oh, Room Processor. Okay, let's try Infect. All right. Outside of a crazy draw, it's a little bit more fair sometimes. Something wicked this way comes from Disney. Oh, Mike Man, I should have known. They actually said the Autumn People and something like that? That sounds awesome. Wow, that's pretty aggressive considering the board state. Come on, Bushwhacker. Sometimes you get in tunnel vision mode with this kind of a deck where you're just like, you're the beat down so often that, like last game, where I'm like, ah, oh, wham! Oh, wait, I'm dead! <laughs> yeah, my wrist is. I've been playing too much magic. I've got to start playing left handed. Just clicking is starting to hurt my wrist. Well, that's going to do a whole lot of nothing. Let me play it. And we'll just attack with everything. I love carnivals, and I love how creepy they are. One of my favorite intros to a show ever. My favorite trailer so far is uh, It 2, which is coming out, I think, tonight. 
But um, as far as, uh, you know, I'm a trailer guy, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes people want to know that kind of stuff. Promo-wise, American Horror Story, I think it was the third or fourth one where they had a carnival intro. Oh, that was pretty. In fact, I used a little bit of the intro of that in our horror gore galore stuff. Just a f few seconds here and there. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> My palms. I've been playing way too much. And when I'm not playing, I'm editing, so it's like, my right hand's just like, leave me alone. I got the tilde key set to like, you know, kind of auto okay. It's, it's either that or my minus key on the other side of the board, depending if I'm left or right handed for the day. I actually play a little bit better left handed because I tend to not uh, just accidentally click auto go because of uh, just sheer momentum. All right. Hey, look at this. Well, let's uh, kick this out. No colored sources. Feeling pretty good here. Killer clowns from outer space. Nice. Woo! All right. We had a lava dart in the in the game. So, all right. Last one coming up here. Come on, little fight. If you're ready, I'll change the decks now. So not to look at the screen real estate. And uh, load this up. Submit. And play. Here we go, the last time. Woo! Good games, Hex and Rouge. Hey, by the way, you're playing with an illegal card, my friend. It's a pure popper tournament, not a pure tournament. <laughs> you got one more. I think I'm going to call it here just because of my, uh, my wrist here, Shirazman, but... Go down with your uh, oh, mulligan. This is a victory. Yeah, all right. We'll keep. Not the greatest hand. Put a card on the bottom. A little later game card there. Done. Booyah. Well, we're not playing Storm, so we can just do this right now. Wait, can somebody give me a consensus? Was that card legal or not? Because I'm hearing two things. All right, I think Chimsky is bringing the truth. Chromatic Star is all we got to worry about. Hey, we like this poll. Woo! I don't got it unless we drop another Invigorate next turn, but... I'm sure there's going to be some hiccups on uh, game day, but... Outside of someone bringing Wrath of God or something, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Art Ghost is pretty chill, considering... Oh, and oh, let's do this here. And we win next turn, unless he's got like some sort of spell here. Boom, boom. I don't know which one I'm leaning towards tomorrow. They both feel pretty good sometimes. Depends. Oh, no problem, X and Rouge. No, it wasn't anything nefarious. Just uh, It's good to see, you know, because then uh, people might be making the same mistake tomorrow without watching this show. Maybe they're watching on YouTube Friday night, Saturday morning, getting ready for the uh, the tournament, the Pure Popper tournament, and they won't make the same mistake thank you, thanks to that. So, yuck. Man. So you got to be careful. You call Pro Green here. This is another reason why over a huge sample size, when I, you play Infect as much as I do, I tend to not like Rancor. Little plays like this where, um, I mean, here it's like, well, yeah, it's responsible for more damage because it came out it came out early. But in my build uh, that I played prior with like 20 lands and stuff, it's it's uh, it's just scenarios like this where a lot of times you're going up against Green. you got to call Pro Green, and you don't want Rancor to fall off. I ain't worth it. I'm going to pass here. And if I had a... If you had Invigorate, you could, you could play it first. Once it resolves, then cast it. I don't know. We'll sit back. Maybe we'll uh, use the Apostle's Blessing to some cool scenario. Who knows? This is what really blows, though. I'm happy for a little fight that we're not just steamrolling him. He's got cranial plating in the house. 
This could be over quicker than you think. Overguard. I missed this card. I think this is due for a comeback. Keep in mind, this was an affinity list back when they had to compete against Storm, and they did pretty good. All right. Another hover guard. Damn. Problem here, especially if he drops that uh, Marm Forcer away camp, but is uh, I've got multiple colors to deal with, so Apostle's Blessing gets exponentially worse. He better not attack with that Forger, though, because then Apostle's Blessing will work. Yeah, boy. Oh. Problem is, we might be dead next turn. What? What does cranial plating read? Let's all read it together, shall we? Plus one over each artifact. Well, these are drones. Is it in play or that you own? You control. Well, that's going to count itself. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We can live through that. I think we still stay back. Play serious here. That's how I would play. We get a land. We get pretty much anything. It feels good, so... <laughs> No ban list says you can play Vanguard. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, it is a little confusing. That still says Popper, though. All right. Woo, that's a lot of damage. We're within three if he comes all at us. Smart, smart. Good man. We got one turn left. Land? No. I, we can't live through next turn. Good for a little fight. I'm happy he's going to be able to uh, stomp through here. Maybe I can uh, reduce the numbers of it. Depends what he blocks with here. There's that and that. Alrighty. Well, we'll see. Alright, there. We'll prefer to kill the. Uh, if we do survive next turn, then it'll have the same color there. So, actually, did I click on the right thing here? Sometimes these get so small. I've done that in a, in a paid match before, and it's like, oh, God. You, there was no wine involved either. Just a, just a dexterity error. I'll get that to two, and well, we're still dead. Boop. We'll have to run that by Arctic Ghost. Make sure uh, I'll have him. I'll send him a link to the show once it's up on YouTube and be like, hey, man, check that out. So there's, I'm sure other people will have that same kind of confusion there. So. Good job, my friend. All right. Down the artifacts. Let's see if we can pull this around. I don't have many uh, many options here. I'm bringing two claim. I'm actually going to kill a vast wood. Actually, I'll bring that out. And we'll bring back in probe. Not a fan of three crisp bearers. I think this is just a online list of long ago. That had invigorate, so I grabbed it, changed the sideboard up to because I remember if Delver being an atrocious matchup. Because unless you get the absolute nuts, they just counter, 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 counter. Everything's just Fey related. So, all right, Mike Man, we'll see you next time, my friend. Run some D and D. Good job. Nice times. Yeah, to stream that, man. We'll host you. All right. Well, we got everything we need except land. I'm gonna mulligan this. I'm not gonna get too greedy. We got a creature. We got defense. We're good to go. I am very happy for a little fight that he pulled that one off. 
we're going to throw nature's claim. I'm going to get rid of nature's claim then. I was going to think of this, but you know, we are trying to win here. I don't want to just be like, aha, kind of a, I told you so, or I got you sort of move, and it's really not worth it compared to the uh, rest of the hand here, so. Oh, I was just reading, and I just what I was talking about. I my thumb just clicked okay because I I swore his uh, his side was highlighted so punt number one, but it's not a tournament. Good reason to switch up your keys every once in a while though, so you get your finger off that just auto plug. Boop. Alrighty, turn it. I'd be swinging for half his life this turn. I know there's quite a debate going on in the chat here. Just let me know what the consensus is, if there is one. There's quite a strange gray area. I'm going to go for it. I've got to land. This would be for the game if I had not missed that drop. I'll hit here. Yeah, I yield through this turn. An absolute no fear zone. We're coming at you. It's got to have kind of a green card here, or it's lights out. Is it off to game three already? Should have been even faster. Shows you the power. In fact, it's like, oh, yeah, you can screw up for a whole turn and still pull stuff off. Maybe. Don't get ahead of ourselves. I'm getting confused now. I could see where the confusion lies, that's for sure. All right. Well, we're going to lose our dude. Good news is we get Rancor back, and we got a really nice beater here. Hopefully there's no other sources of red available. This will halt the attack. Hey, I'm gonna already played one ground swell. There's only three and 51 cards left. I'm gonna play this just for the uh, blessing backup to have an extra threat maybe next turn with a uh, rancor backup. We'll see. All right. Ouch. Doing. Very good cards tomorrow if you're watching this. Uh, I don't want to put this out there, but I'd feel kind of like a oh, little bit shady if I didn't tell you guys. If you haven't already caught on, Echoing Decay and Echoing Truth, you should definitely have, if you're playing black or red, you should have at least one of those in your deck, if not three or four. It will save you a round or two. You'll have to hit up Arctic Ghost personally since he's running the tournament. But see, this, I'm really glad that this is happening because it's its definitely some gray area there. So uh, it'll be neat to get a consensus on it. And like I said, if anybody sees him before I do, point him to this show. He can always watch it on Twitch if uh, YouTube hasn't uploaded it yet. Like I said, I like to wait just a few hours usually just so the quality is good. really hate uploading the show in the past. Like a couple months ago, I would upload it right away and then it would just be like, crap, that looks like crap for like the first hour or two. So it has to process kind of a... I'm not buying cranial plating. It doesn't feel as OP as I thought. You see it on paper. You're like, holy crap. But maybe uh, maybe it pays to... Remember the uh, Arcbound Worker? I think it's a 1-1. One, one, and there, there was like a lot more quicker version of Affinity. I think it might really scream on that kind of Affinity. Or heck, maybe play uh, Artifact Infect. That'd be pretty nasty. But so far, Vigorate feels pretty nasty. Six. It's for nine. I'm going to keep up uh, protection. Let's go from here. I don't have to really worry about edict effects. I don't think. We'll see. Uh, 
Huzzah. Oops, I'm going to write that down. My wife's quite the crafts person, so she's got her, since our oldest has moved out, she's uh, redesigning this little desk area in our family room, and so she does a really good job, though. She's always, she rebuilt the car door one time with all the electronics and stuff, and half the time I try to do some craft, my hands are just, I got gigantic hands for my size. I have the genetics of a duck. My feet and hands are just way too big for my body. But I'm pretty hard to tip over because of it. But she's got these tiny little hands, and so they're able to just do all these neat little crafts and fix everything. Like, I can't, if something goes down the garbage disposal, I, my, I cannot get my hand in there. Probably a good trait to have, but when it comes to fixing trinkets, she'd be a much better trinket mage. That's my point. Like, good God, old man, what are you talking about? How does this have to do with magic? Well, my wife's a better trinket mage. A lot better looking one, too. But I got the thorn of the bat, black rose haircut. Seeker of the way. Whatever most relevant baldy cards out there. Woo. <laughs> what if I just text me on my phone? He's like, <laughs> so much I want to say. Yeah, that's right. I better, he could probably hear me, but not, you're not ghosting. So little does he know we're holding three fire blasts. Oh, wait, wrong deck. Somber of a god. All right. Well, all comes down to this, folks. I forget. Is this game one, two, or three? It's at least game two. Have I won one? Well, that helps. Let's do this. I think we got this. Yeah. Can't really have a... We've got to make this live. Boink, boink, boing. Call red. Woo! That card makes me think most about Deluxe. What are you talking about? Oh, the, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the bald dude. <laughs> just like, ah! Yeah, that'll be me in like 40 years. And just be this crusty old dude still playing Twitch. And kids have like contact lens video games. And I'll be like, come join me on Twitch. What are you kids doing on not playing on a real platform when I was your age? That sort of stuff. Woohoo! I think we got this doesn't have any uh, swamps, so snuff out's not a thing. If he blocks, it gets even worse. Wow! Booyah! Two eats it up. I don't even need to use my ground spell. Let's do some maths. We'll go like this. Huzzah! Boom! And now we see if my maths are correct. That was game two. Now we're off to game three. Okay. This might be funny. I'll at least take care of one of those. <laughs> I'm going to make him. Well, he can hear me. i got to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. see if we can go here. Boop. I'm out of libations. This will be the last sh last thing of the show. Artifact. Yeah. I think it's a bad idea because fans like this. If you're going to go um 
different than mono green, I think you need to go the protection route where you where it's all about having that um, permanent answer, like Veridin Longbow or White Infect, and like having protection from. Otherwise, it's just better to usually go fast and prey on bad draws. But I do think this will be probably the top played deck tomorrow. Not this one, this exact 75, but something similar to it. I bet I think Infect will probably... And I have a thing for this. Methonical was laughing about it the other day with the MCQ and stuff where I, I'm able to really call metagames like the percentages that show up and stuff like that, even if I'm kind of out of the scene. Yeah, I think Infect will be about 28 to 30% of the metagame tomorrow. Be ready. Boop, 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 boom. Because the hand's like this. Da -da 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 -da. That's got a nice ring to it. Artifact. Oh. Oh, okay. I was going to say... What a way to end it. Maybe not. Ouch! What's up with all these guys? Come on now. He's hellbent. That's good times. I think I might just trade uh, trade some damage here. Let's go crazy. Going crazy. Necroclaw will have something to say with that Rancor and a few more moves. But until then, folks, how many is it going to be? Let's get rid of the bad boy first. Drop. Boom. Holy crap. Can this survive? Huzzah! Just for the hell of it. Probably should have held on to a big right there, but take that. All your stuff's dead. All your robots are belong to us. How's that thing go? Ah! I was, I was trying to jinx you and you dropped Galvanic Blast. All right. I'll see your hellbent and drop a mer. Come on, let's just grab uh, Apostle's Blessing, Mines of Vastwood, or that. Here we go. This is the game. Has he got anything here? Hopefully he plays something out so I can cycle. Good news for him, bad news for me. It's more things to worry about with a great furnace staring me down. Hmm. Two cards left. What's he got, folks? We got no protection here. Or maybe I'm just saying that. So he tries to use that Galvanic Blast he just drew. Galvanic Blast Breath Mints. Should have had that one queued up. I'm curious what this sounds like later because of the new pop filter. When I say things like pop filter, if it's coming through good or if it's distorting. Uh... Uh, you could, Nimchimsky. I'm just trying to uh, feign like I've uh, got an answer there. Not much in the three mana department that's going to uh, signal feebleness like that. Of course, we just drew a vine, so that's that's the good news. And that should be it. I'm just messing with a little fight. I know he can hear me, but he can't see the game. So <laughs> you're wondering, like, what? Is he having a stroke? No, no, no. It's poking fun at my old friend. Yikes. Card draw. Don't like. Is anybody's game still? I can deal with the uh, Icar Claw. We'll be picking up the pieces, nephews and nieces. Well, that's just giving it to us, if, unless you've got Hover Guard. Even Hover Guard, the trample effect's going to get you. Ha! 
Gut shot. You might want to consider gut shot main uh, tomorrow. Anybody out there, if your deck can support it, it'd be good times. Booyah! Boink, boink, boink. Oh, all right. Well, we've got this. I'll reveal mine, my friend. So that's going to do it, folks. I want to reiterate a few things tomorrow. The very first ever uh, no band popper tournament. Uh, we're going to go over to gathering.com and within about, well, what, 11 hours, I think, of this uh, show, it's going to go live. It's totally free to enter. That's one thing. You can totally enter for free. Um, I, there's prize support thanks to MTGO and uh, Arctic underscore ghost is the host of it. So if you've got any questions, concerns or whatnot, I think you could uh, chime in with him. But uh, yeah, so this is, this is where it's going to be happening tomorrow too. So even if you don't uh, want to play in it and you just want to observe, you can just try not to chat in any of the matches. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully playing some iteration of something out there that uh, is stinking of illegal as hell as uh, Little Fight wrote up here. Anyway, guys, uh, we'll see you next week, probably playing Tribe or something a lot more competitive in the uh, popper scene. Who knows? Maybe because it's me, I might play Jank Rogue yet again. Uh, but anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week on Poppaganda, and we'll see you all weekend long, hopefully on MTGO with all this stuff. But anyway, thanks for joining me, and thank you to all my uh, competitors out there today. We'll see you next week, guys. Adios. Hey everybody, Deluxecoff here. Just wanted to give a quick thank you to our donations, as you can see over to the side here. Uh, it really helps out. We've got new mics and things always being needed for propaganda and keep the content flowing. So if you can, donate. If not, no biggie. But again, thank you very much to the generous support of the people over here. And we'll see you next time. From the volcano of Balaku to the leech-ridden swamps of Agadir, Cast off all your inhibition at the only casino in all Dominaria. Experience the pinnacle of personal pleasure. Venture boldly at Rakdos Casino and may all your Underworld dreams come true. Rakdos Casino, the place for premium pleasure.